you can count on. This is KIMT News 3 at 6. Was your phone working this morning because over 70,000 Americans were having issues? I'm KMT News 3's Emma Essib live with what AT&T has to say about the nationwide network outage. And hopefully you had a chance to enjoy the beautiful weather we had today with temperatures up into the 50s because we are tracking a big time cool down coming our way here for your Friday. We'll get you a check of that Friday forecast coming up. It may be a little bit warmer this year for Rochester Social Ice, but that is not stopping the ice from coming here to Rochester. I'm KIMT News 3's Brandon Coe, live with how these amazing ice sculptures are created during these warmer temperatures. Oh, it sure looks nice out there tonight. Thanks so much for joining us tonight on KIMT News 3 at 6. I'm Cami Raisler. AT&T phone users across the nation woke up confused as thousands of people reported service outages this morning, starting around 2.30 this morning. KMT News 3's Emma Esteb is live with more information about what exactly was happening for cell phone users. So, Emma, what information do you have us at this hour for us? Yeah, Cami, I was actually one of the users that was having issues this morning. And basically, I'm pulling up my phone right now, but on this top, right corner of the screen instead of it having those lines saying 5g it just said the letters sos and this sos signal in the status bar means that the device is not connected to a network making cell phone users unable to call text or use the internet without wi-fi users were able to make emergency calls if necessary by holding down the power button and swiping to dial 911. I spoke with Verizon and Spectrum tech experts who told me that there is not a single issue that directly caused an outage like this. Individuals across the nation were impacted by the outage and did not get service again until around 3 this afternoon. I reached out to AT&T headquarters who provided me with a statement saying, quote, we have restored wireless service to all our affected customers. We sincerely apologize to them. Keeping our customers connected remains our top priority, and we are taking steps to ensure our customers do not experience this again in the future." End quote. And although AT&T was the most reported outage, I was also told that uh, T-Mobile, Verizon, and Cricket also experienced outages earlier today. Live in Rochester, Emma SWK, AMT News 3. All right, very interesting. Sounds like we need a few more answers there from at and I'm sure we'll get some tomorrow. And we do have a link on our website, KIMT.com, where you can track if your area is experiencing a network outage with at and Again, you can find that on our website. While some of us struggle today to use the phone, for others, it's a problem year-round. That's why the Minnesota Department of Human Services is reminding people of its telephone equipment distribution program. It provides a variety of adaptive phone devices to people who have difficulty using the phone. This includes those who are deaf, hard of hearing, or who have a physical or speech disability. Qualified individuals are able to use these devices for free as long as they need them. The program is funded through the Department of Commerce. All right, let's turn things over to our chief meteorologist here. Aaron White joins us now on another beautiful day Honestly, here in the Med City. Perfect today. We yes. had sunshine, temperatures in the 50s. Hard to beat that in February. You can't. You can't beat it. And thankfully, we are tracking more nice weather in our forecast as we look ahead to after the weekend. We just got a little bit of a cool down coming our way here for tomorrow. But today, look at those highs. We made it up to 56 in Rochester, 59, almost 60 in Mason City, and we actually did hit 61 in Charles City. That tied the record high for today. Now, it's already cooling off. We're already down to 41 in Rochester, 43 in Mason City, 43 in Austin, 39 a little chilly there in Dodge Center. And as we're taking a live look right now, still pretty clear. A few high clouds making their way through, but temperatures, of course, are cooling off. And like I mentioned, we're tracking even colder weather here for your Friday. We'll get you a full check of your Friday forecast, and of course, a look ahead of the weekend coming up here in just a bit. All right, looking forward to it. Rochester's Peace Plaza is beginning to transform into a frozen wonderland on this 50-degree day for this year's social ice as sculptors are starting to construct their ice sculptures downtown. And everything seems like it's working down there. KIMT News 3's Brandon Coat is joining us live from Peace Plaza. And Brandon, what a beautiful shot. It's nice out tonight. Are the ice sculptures doing okay? 
Well, Cammy, yes, the ice sculptures are doing okay, and things are starting to slowly come together down here in Peace Plaza as sculptors are actually putting together their first ice sculpture over here. And right over there is Trevor Pearson, who started sculpting these designs 14 years ago for Social Ice. And he tells me preparations for this year's icy celebration is looking a little different this year because typically you would see these ice sculptors working on their projects starting like Monday or Tuesday, but due to the warmer temperatures nowadays, they had to actually pre-build these ice sculptures back in their freezer facility in St. Paul. Now, Carvers started unloading the ice blocks in sculptures this afternoon. Pearson tells me they keep the art pieces frozen with insulated blankets and tarps. The sculptors create their own ice with water pumps constantly flowing in a freezer space, a process that takes about five days to make a single block. Pearson says community members coming together yearly for this icy celebration is a true testament to Minnesotans. We love winter, we can embrace winter, um, and it doesn't bother us. And I think Socialize is just another one of those events that helps bring the community together. Um, celebration of local businesses and art at the same time. Pearson says that they transported around 20,000 pounds of ice to Rochester over here, all the way from St. Paul. So it should be a wonderful celebration happening this weekend, Cammie. Live in Rochester, Brandon Coat, KINT News 3. Yes, we are looking forward to it. And you can join us live down at Social Ice. Many of us will be there reporting live during the 4, 5, and 6 o'clock news tomorrow night. Spring load restrictions are starting to go into place across southeastern Minnesota on roadways. Freeborn and Mower counties say restrictions will take effect starting Monday. They will be in effect wherever load restriction signs are posted. This also means all gravel roads not otherwise posted will be restricted to five tons per axle during this period. Highway maps showing the load postings are available on Freeborn and Mower counties' websites. Minnesota and Iowa drivers will now be able to use a higher blend of ethanol all year round. The Environmental Protection Agency ruled today it will end a summertime ban on sales of E15 gasoline. The higher blend has been prohibited because of its concerns, or of concerns rather, it could worsen smog during warmer weather. However, the restriction won't be lifted until next year. This is because the EPA says the current supply wouldn't meet demand this year. The decision comes after extensive campaigning by Midwest lawmakers and farming groups. Olmstead County is reminding voters you can still cast your votes for the presidential primary before the March 5th deadline. Absentee in-person direct balloting for the 2024 presidential primary started on February 16th. This allows you to still vote in person before primary day on March 5th. You can cast your vote at either the Olmstead County Elections Office or the County Government Center. To vote in the presidential primary, you must be a U.S. citizen at least 18 years of age, on Election Day, a resident of Minnesota for 20 days and not currently incarcerated for a felony. A Minnesota plant accused of emitting dangerous chemicals and causing cancer has been sold. What's next for those still seeking justice against the company? And later, a three-year sentence for a man who played a role in the January 6th attack on the Capitol in Washington. The crimes he was found guilty of. Think you're ready to take the wheel? Well, hang on. Grandma wants to say something. Let's huh? solve the Looks puzzle. Like... Bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. Yeah, that's it. Woo! Never interrupt Grandma in the middle of a solve. <laughs> Thursday after KIMT News 3 at 6. It's the High V BOGO sale this Friday through Sunday. Buy one, get one free on Blue Bunny Frozen Desserts. Buy one, get one free on marinated pork loin fillets or tenderloins. Buy one, get one free on Doritos. Buy one, get one free on 7-Up six-packs. Buy one, get one free on Hy-Vee potato chips. And buy one, get one free on Hy-Vee cottage cheese. Don't miss the Hy-Vee BOGO sale this Friday through Sunday, only at Hy-Vee. Wright's Auction Company is your local family-owned auction company and have been since 2004. No need for national auction firms. Wright's offers the same services locally. The Farm Machinery Consignment Sale is Monday, March 4th at 9 a.m. Sign your equipment today. Wright's Auction Company, 2 miles north of Floyd on 218. Everyone loves winter fun, and you can take it even farther in a Honda. Experience the season's joys 
and conquer its challenges with snow mode, standard on all Honda SUVs and trucks. Honda, Kelly Blue Book's KBB.com best overall brand for 2023. Visit your local Honda dealer where new vehicles are arriving daily. Buy online or reserve from select Honda dealers. Business owners flocked to Byron today as the city hosted an entrepreneurial workshop. The event was organized by the University of Minnesota Extension in partnership with the city as part of an ongoing effort to host the curriculum statewide. The workshop featured lessons in networking with potential customers and other local businesses to build up a business's presence in the Byron community. Organizers say the initial response was definitely positive. Um, I hope it's something that we see more of in the Byron community to meet new people and continue learning as we grow. It's good to hear different sides of the story too because you know, you're looking, you only looking at the business from one angle, seeing these other angles can, can help you along the journey. The City of Byron says it would be open to holding similar events in the future depending on the long-term outcomes seen from today's event. Winnebago Industries says it is teaming up with a Los Angeles-based maker of electric commercial vehicles. The partnership with Exos Incorporated will develop a fully electric chassis for Winnebago's special vehicles division. The company says the specialized chassis will allow for dependable access to parts and continued software improvements. The uses for this platform can be mobile child advocacy centers, medical and dental clinics, blood donation vehicles, and mobile command vehicles. A Minnesota manufacturing plant accused of causing dozens of cancer cases has been sold after filing for bankruptcy. Water Gremlin, which sits northeast of the Twin Cities, has been sold to Otter Lake Technologies. The company is at the center of over 90 civil lawsuits from people who live nearby that accuse Water Gremlin of causing cancer, chronic illness, and wrongful death. With the purchase, Otter Lake Technologies says it is not responsible for any claims against Water Gremlin and that it did not assume the company's liabilities. A Minnesota man who repeatedly attacked police officers during the U.S. Capitol riot has been sentenced to almost three years in prison. 44-year-old Brian Mock helped remove two police barricades before he assaulted four officers during the riot. Mock asked for leniency, saying he didn't show up seeking to cause violence. But the judge said Mock clearly came to Washington, D.C. expecting violence. Mock testified and represented himself at his July 2023 trial. A new Iowa bill is looking to shake up how public schools teach sexual education classes. The change being pushed to help kids try to appreciate life at all stages. As we're looking ahead to our forecast, we're tracking a very much spring-like pattern as we have a lot of ups and a lot of downs here in the forecast, but also potential for record highs. We'll talk about that here after the break. The information you need. Sean McAday, KIMT Storm Team 3 coverage you can count on. I'd recommend All Craft Exteriors is if you want it done the right way the first time and the quality of work, that would be why I'd go with All Craft. They really lived up to their expectations. I mean, almost within a week they were done. These guys worked hard. They had the nice trailers. They had the crew of people. You know, it wasn't just, you know, one or two guys out working. They had five, six guys, you know, and you could really tell it was like, man, they do quality work. And that's what All Craft has. We're built on trust. We're built on trust. There are trucks. And then there's the GMC Sierra. Available with the connected driving experience. And the world's first six function multi pro tailgate. GMC Sierra. It's the truck. Or get 2.9% APR for 72 months on select Sierra 1500 models. We are professional grade GMC. Something exciting is growing on Iowa farms these days. Innovation. From tractors that seed, weed, and harvest with data-driven precision to drones that scout or plant cover crops to protect soil and water. 
Even our animals live in smart homes with round-the-clock care. Technology keeps your food safer, water cleaner, and makes us more sustainable. Because what we do here benefits everyone here. Life on the farm makes everyone's life better. What I love about T-Mobile is that just about anywhere you go, you're going to have coverage. Where I live is a rural area. The coverage has been awesome. Reliable coverage is super important for me, for my business. And after investing billions to light up our network from big cities to small towns, T-Mobile is America's largest and fastest 5G network. See for yourself. Try T-Mobile's network free for three months. Your phone, our network, no strings. We track storms to alert you first. This is KIMT Storm Team 3. Weather coverage you can count on. Hey, welcome back to KIMT News 3 at 6. It's time now for a look at weather with KIMT Storm Team 3 Chief Meteorologist Aaron White. And I see two big 61s over there. It reminds yeah. me of Roger Maris. Okay. He, he hit 61 home runs sure. in 61, and he's from North Dakota, and I'm yeah. a baseball fan. But we have a record here <laughs> Yeah, which well. is honestly, you know, kind of surprising for this time of year to see 60s on the map, and we had that here today, and guess what? We might even have some more 60s on the map as we get into next week. But let's talk about this one here today. 61, that was the record high that was set back in 2017 in Charles City. We hit that today, so we tied the record officially at 61 degrees, considering Average is 32. Yeah, we were looking pretty good here with highs in the 50s and, again, a couple of us into the lower 60s. But we can say goodbye to that for at least now because temperatures are cooling off. We're down to 41 in downtown Rochester, looking at a beautiful look at our skyline there with uh, clear skies at the moment. But some clouds are going to start to roll in here by tomorrow. Mason City also looking pretty nice. Still some light there on the horizon. 43 now. Northwest winds are kicking in at 14 miles per hour, and that's going to drop our temperatures here through tonight into the day tomorrow. So after warming up into the 50s to near 60 today, you can see that colder air settling in. We're already down to the upper 30s there in Dodge Center and Owatonna at 37. 43 in Northwood, 45 in Osage, and still close to 50 in Charles City, at least for now. But that's going to be changing here tonight and tomorrow. Got a little a pocket of colder air that's going to be settling in here across the upper Midwest for tomorrow. That's going to move away. We'll get a brief warm-up as we go into the weekend. But more so here for Monday, as this ridge starts to build in, that's going to allow our temperatures to be close to 60, if not above that here for Monday afternoon. But it's going to be short-lived because we're going to be tracking another system that's going to be a little bit stronger Knocking our temperatures down to the 20s here by Wednesday. And we could be talking about a couple snowflakes in here by Wednesday morning. So we'll talk about that here in your seven-day forecast. For tonight into tomorrow, looking like clouds rolling in. And there could be a couple flurries as we go through the afternoon. So we will have to watch that. Not going to accumulate to anything. But, you know, still something we haven't seen for quite some time. For tonight, partly cloudy skies and a low near 30. But for tomorrow... Looking at temperatures starting off in the upper 20s, but we'll get you a high near 36 under a mostly cloudy sky. Also talking about tomorrow, well, we have social ice kicking off in, P in Peace Plaza. We're all going to be down there from 4, 5, and 6 o'clock. And temperatures looking pretty good here for social ice. A little bit warmer here on Saturday as things are going to be melting here with highs into the 40s. And your seven-day forecast showing those temperatures back to near 60 here on Monday. But like I said, we're taking a tumble here next week, Cami, as we're seeing highs in the 20s and maybe a few snowflakes here by Wednesday. All right, all over the place. A third case of the viral infection, measles, has been reported in Minnesota. The case was confirmed today after two siblings came down with the disease earlier this month. Measles was officially declared eradicated in the United States more than 20 years ago, but declining vaccination rates are increasing the risk of the spread of the disease. While there were no reported measles cases in Minnesota in 2022, the state saw 22 cases in 2021. Sex ed classes in Iowa may soon watch a fetal development video from a group against abortion. A new bill would require public school students to watch a video that shows the development of a fetus created by the anti-abortion group Live Action. You can see it here. The group says it would teach kids where they came from and encourage an appreciation for human life. But some educators and physicians say the video is deceptive and problematic for a young audience.
Minnesota businessman Mike Lindell is in more hot water over what a judge now says were false 2020 election claims. How much money he'll be losing over a contest he ran last year. Weather every 10 minutes. Meteorologist Sean McAday. KIMT News 3 Daybreak. Coverage you can count on. At Hearing Associates, we always put our patients first. Hear what they have to say about our care. I've been able to stay much more engaged with friends and family, and it's just really allowed me to stay connected with a lot of things I would have had to give up. I got six grandkids, and now I can be engaged in all the conversations that are going on around me. I can't tell you how many times I have been able to walk out of that office like I have my life back. Hearing Associates, providing better hearing, one patient at a time. The President's Day sale has arrived at Ashley. It's your chance to take home hot buys starting at just $2.99. These are deals you won't want to miss. Shop in store for designer looks, now as low as $5 per month. Unlock your home's potential with affordable no-interest financing options. Plus, enjoy free no-hassle delivery to make your home shopping even easier. These deals, these styles, and so much more are waiting for you this President's Day. Only at Ashley. Did you know 80% of women are struggling with hair damage, just like I was? Dryness and frizz could be damaged hair that can't retain moisture. New Pantene Miracle Rescue Deep Conditioner with first-of-its-kind Melting Pro-V Pearls. Locks in moisture to repair six months of damage in one wash without weigh down. Guaranteed or your money back. For resilient, healthy-looking hair. If you know, you know it's Pantene. Our national nightmare is over. Ghosts is back with all new episodes. I wasn't sleeping because of my sleep apnea, which I assumed I'd get rid of when I died, but I didn't, so I'm always a little tired. Mmm, I always forget how pungent that wolf urine is. It's my ghost power. Holy guacamole! Can you please stop swearing cleanly? A new ghost tonight, 8.30, 7.30 Central on CBS and streaming on Paramount+. Plus. Hello. You know, most people think you get to heaven by being good. That doesn't work because we're sinners. We deserve hell, not heaven. Here's how you get to heaven. 2,000 years ago, God came down from heaven, became a human being. His name was Jesus. He lived the perfect life we couldn't. He went to the cross to die in our place for our sins, rose from the dead, and now God promises you, believe in Jesus, and you'll go to heaven. Join us this week as we talk about these things at the Pastor's Study. Well, the section tournament is here for boys high school hockey teams. The seven-seeded Wasika Blue Jays are heading to Casson to face off against the two-seed, the Dodge County Wildcats, in a Class 1A Section 1 quarterfinal matchup. These two teams faced off about a month ago in the regular season. The Wildcats got the 2-1 victory. Wildcats' Griffin Funk leads the team in goals with 39. And Blue Jays' Hunter Anderson has 24 goals so far. The puck drops at 7 tonight. And in a Section 1 2A boys hockey quarterfinal game, we have a Med City matchup tonight. The seven-seeded Spart Mayo Spartans are taking on the two-seed, the Century Panthers. These two teams met about two weeks ago, and the game ended in a tie at one. Panthers' Aiden Emmerich has 22 goals. Spartans' Rocco Coral has six goals so far. This one starts at 7 tonight. And switching to the hardwood in girls high school hoops, teams are competing in the section tournament too. Let's talk about a class 2A section 1 matchup tonight. The 10 seeded Chatfield Gophers are hitting the road to face the 7 seeds, the Zimbroda Mazeppa Cougars. In the regular season, the Cougars beat the Gophers by double digits. Gophers' Evelyn Goldsmith averages almost 22 points a game. Cougars' Amelia Angerman scores about 19 points each game. Tonight, the teams tip off at 7. And in North Iowa boys high school basketball, teams are hitting the hardwood in districts. Let's take a look at a few of the matchups tonight. In a 3A2 second round game, the North Polk Comets are taking on a tough one-loss Clear Lake Lions team tonight. And in a 3A3 second round matchup, the Hampton-Dumont Cal Bulldogs are hitting the road to face the Charles City Comets.
And today, February 22nd, 2024, is Caitlin Clark Day in Iowa, according to the Iowa House. The Iowa House wanted to honor Clark for, quote, her extraordinary accomplishments, end quote, after she broke the NCAA Division I women's scoring record a week ago tonight. Clark had 49 points in that game, setting a career high in points. She is just 98 points away from tying Pete Maravich's record. He is the all-time leading scorer in NCAA men's and women's basketball. The number four University of Iowa Hawkeyes are on the road against the 14th ranked Indiana Hoosiers tonight. And that one starts at 7. All right, Mary, thanks so much. Here's a live look over Highway 52 in Rochester on another gorgeous evening. We'll have another look at your forecast next. We track storms to keep your family safe. KIMT Storm Team 3. This week on Alliant Energy's Powerhouse, we're exploring a few ways to get cozy. We'll talk about the benefits of a dual fuel heating and cooling system. We'll warm up to the idea of radiant floor heating. And we'll tune up a gas fireplace and make a down-to-earth case for geothermal systems. That's this week on Alliant Energy's Powerhouse. Saturdays at 1035 on KIMT. Tickets are on sale now for the High Beam Indy Car Race Weekend Concert Series. Saturday, July 13th, see Luke Combs and Eric Church. And Sunday, July 14th, see Post Malone and Kelsey Ballerini. Five in concert. One ticket per day gets you into a race and two concerts. Tickets on sale now at HighBeamIndyCarWeekend.com. Seven-day-old tuna casserole. How'd you know that? Even my nose is strong. You need Hefty Ultra Strong. It has arm and hammer, continuous odor control. Hefty, Hefty, Hefty. Oh, and uh, Toby needs a bath. Stay one step ahead of Stinky. Save on big projects. Menards 11% off everything is happening now. Don't miss out. Complete your laundry room. Save 11% on Clearview cabinetry. Transform your home with 11% off new Mastercraft doors. Build your dream deck and get 11% off. Ultra Deck composite decking. Or go even bigger and get 11% off a whole house. There's no limit to what you can say. Menards 11% off everything is happening now. Save big money at Menards. What? I'm in love. Michelle on accounts payable? No, no, no. It's whoever made this country fried steak. I should write a letter. It's more personal. Oh, can I borrow a pen? Love letter. I'll just spend her 10 bucks. Your? Five meals for under $10. Only at Perkins. My Pillow CEO Mike Lindell has been ordered by a federal judge to pay $5 million to a Minnesota man. The ruling comes after Lindell promised in a $5 million reward in the Prove Mike Wrong Challenge. A man took Lindell up on this challenge at a cyber symposium event after the 2020 election. Lindell said the prize would be given out if someone proved Lindell's data about the 2020 election wasn't real. According to contest rules, participants were allowed to arbitrate if needed. The man initially had lost the challenge, but then took Lindell to arbitration and won. All right, one final look on weather here on this gorgeous day. Yeah, still looking out pretty good. A little cooler tomorrow, but good timing for social ice kicking off here in Peace Plaza. 36 for a high. We're up to 44 on Saturday. More sunshine through the weekend. Really looking quite nice. 47 by Sunday, and you see it right there. Focus in on Monday. 60 degrees, record highs likely here across the area before we're dropping those temperatures. Uh, maybe the chance for a few snowflakes here on Wednesday, but... Don't worry about that. Just focus on Monday. That yeah. 60 is going to feel really nice. Yeah. Right. And a happy Caitlin Clark Day. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, let's oh. celebrate. Thanks for joining us tonight. We'll see you back here at 10 o'clock. Have a good night.
If you're shopping for a vehicle and wonder what website has local vehicles listed, check out findcars.com because findcars.com is locally based. You'll find thousands of vehicles listed from local dealers and private sellers all over the area. Plus, it's so easy to use. Simply choose the vehicle you're looking for and findcars.com will show you who has what you're looking for locally and beyond. Findcars.com, local shopping made easy. Findcars.com. Click it. I'm Cammie Raisler. Tonight at 10, if you missed out on coffee today, there are other ways to help fallen hero Adam Finseth's family. Tonight at 10, we share some other Rochester businesses who are giving back. Big hits. Fast action. Tons of family fun. Come see the hockey stars of tomorrow today. Get your tickets to the fastest action in town. Go to austinbrewers.com for a full schedule.